Hello, I'm Matthew Wahern. I'm National Training Manager at SMEG Australia and today we're going to look through the new SMEG kitchen stand mixer and all of its intricacies. It's really important that you explain to the consumer just what comes in the box. So in here we get a quick start guide and in the quick start guide there are some fantastic recipe cards. Then inside here we have our instruction manual. There's a, there's a really important reason we put instruction manuals in there because they tell you things key to understanding and getting the most out of your unit. Alongside this we have our guarantee. So the guarantee for this stand mixer is a three month replacement warranty. Simply take it back to the place of purchase and it will be replaced for you free of charge. The other part of the warranty extends for a full five years. So for five years the, the machine is covered by a service warranty. We believe in this machine so that if anything does go wrong with it, we will fix it. The easiest way to get this out of the box is actually to tip it upside down. Slide the outer case up like this and lift it off. This houses all sorts of exciting bits. All right, I get excited about appliances, I don't know about you. In here we have our flat beater attachment and then over here we have our dough hook, the moment of the big reveal. So we'll take this here off and they have letters on there so you know which way to pack them back up again. Right hand and of course left for the other one. Our stand mixer is inside its packaging. Now let's take this out. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Inside the bowl is the whisking attachment. So of course, once you've unpacked everything, the first thing you need to do is to give all of the accessories and the bowl a good rinse in warm soapy water. The whisk attachment, the dough hook and the flat beater can all be washed by hand at any time and the bowl being stainless steel can go through the dishwasher. When it came to designing this machine, our team at SMEG collaborated with the team at Deep Design, headed up by Matteo Bacigulupo. And what they've come up with is what we think is a beautiful machine. It is designed, of course, to hark back to the 1950s, but with a very modern twist. This machine is designed to be not only beautiful, but also ergonomic. This actually has its main controller on the top of the unit. And you can see here that the bowl is stainless steel. This part here is die cast aluminium. It's beautiful, but it's also very simple in its aesthetic. On the back of our unit, we have some beautiful design detail. Clearly this is an Italian design. It has that beautiful finesse about it that we, that we love. This machine is heavy. It's got a good bit of weight into it. It means that it's going to be able to withstand the rigors of a busy kitchen. It's also going to be able to knead heavy dough. It's going to be able to whip lots and lots of egg whites. It's also going to be able to combine lots of ingredients because it's got a bit of guts behind it. It comes with a number of accessories and they do different sorts of things. The whisk can be used for whipping cream or incorporating light flour and those sorts of things. But you can actually use it for mashing vegetables, fluffing egg whites to make beautiful meringues and to make perfect baked goods. If you do happen to have the machine turning, doing its whipping, it's kneading, it's combining, whatever it's doing, and you were to raise the head without shifting the control to the off position, the beaters will stop automatically. The head unit will stop no matter what you're doing and you don't have things flying out of your bowl and going all around the kitchen and you end up in a cloud of flour. It comes with a number of accessories and they do different sorts of things. The whisk can be used for whipping cream. The dough hook is great for kneading dough. It's great for pizza dough. It's also good for bread dough. We're going to use it today to make some pasta dough. Anything that requires hard, heavy kneading, the dough hook does that job for you. The flat beater will bring together ingredients. It will also sift ingredients. So where usually you'd have to stir something to incorporate or to aerate, the flat beater does that job for you. We use a planetary action in this machine. When the whisk moves around, it doesn't just spin on its own axis. It has this part here 
which spins around and then it spins around internally. So it's going around the bowl as well as spinning on its own axis. One of the really important things about deciding to buy a stand mixer is making sure that you get one that has the right balance of power and torque. Power is what drives the machine. This has an 800 watt motor. But importantly, torque has to be balanced with it. Torque is what actually gives it the grunt and the grind to be able to do the work. When we're using the controls on this machine, we have a soft start mechanism. When I go from zero to one, the machine starts up and it starts up slowly. I'll turn it off again. Now if I go from zero to flat out, it still starts up slowly and then builds right up to maximum power. We're going to make pasta dough now. Into our bowl we've got 300 grams of double O flour, salt. Then we're going to add three eggs. So we're going to use the flat beater attachment to combine all of these ingredients and then switch over to the dough hook. You can of course start with just the dough hook and use it from woe to go, but I like to use the flat beater. It goes all the way around to the edges of the bowl and brings everything in together. Pop it in and push it around. Nice and gentle, brings everything together. I'll then increase that speed from one to two. And now we've actually finished the kneading part of making our pasta dough. So we're going to lift the head up and remove the dough and we can see that it's formed a beautiful dough on here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this all out and then just have a look at that. That dough is perfect. Our pasta has now been resting for about half an hour and we're going to attach the pasta roller to our machine and then we're going to attach one of the cutter pieces. This is the set that you can purchase to go along with the stand mixer. We have our fettuccine cutter, our pasta roller which is what we use to roll the pasta dough flat. The key with this is that it's adjustable and we'll see that as we go on. Down at the bottom we have tagliolini. Tagliolini is like a small version of tagliatelle which is the dish of Emilia Romagna which is where smeg comes from. This is our pasta roller. On the side here, there is a dial which is adjustable. You pull it out to disengage and let it back in to engage at the level that you want it to be at. So we start on zero. By starting on zero, it means that the rollers here are the furthest apart so that we can fit our dough in in its widest form and then bring it back down to a thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner level. So what we're going to do is attach this part here into the front of our mixer. So we'll take that off and put this in here. Our dough, which has been resting now for about half an hour. 20 minutes, thereabouts. We'll put that down there, just give it a little bit of a push out. It's nice to have a little bit of flour to stop it from sticking to the bench. Let's turn the machine on. And we go here, as our instructions tell us, we go into power level one. We don't want to go any higher than that when we're using the front port attachment. So I just let this go into here, and then you see the machine actually does the work. I don't really have to do anything. It feeds it through and does the job for me. So now, for our laminating process, what's really important is that we fold it over, fold it back over again, a little bit like making an envelope. There we go, back over back over again. We just want to do this a few times. I'm going to adjust the dial here from level zero 
to level one. I don't have to turn the machine off when I do this. You can leave it running, it doesn't affect it. So now, all I need to do is not laminate again, just allow this to roll through. The machine actually does the work, you don't really have to do anything. Now I think one more notch should do us for this pasta. So I'm up to level six now. Yeah, that's looking good. Now what I'm going to do is take this off and put on our fettuccine cutter. So let's pop it on, power level one again. And then, this is the magic part. Now what we can do is we can cook this fresh into a pot of boiling water, a little pinch of salt in there, and away we go. Fresh pasta cooked in about six or eight minutes. Another great accessory that you can purchase is the spaghetti cutter. The teeth in here, they are more like rollers than the teeth on the other accessories, and they will give us those perfect tubes of spaghetti that we all know and love. We've now finished making our pasta, uh, and cleaning up is really simple. The pasta roller and cutter set comes with a little brush, and all you need to do is just get in there and get any bits of excess flour out, and the job's done. Very simple. Cleaning up our beautiful enameled body up here is just a damp cloth, or a microfiber cloth, whatever you've got at hand will do the job. And this, just wipe it down. It's the best way to maintain it. Thank you. Thank you.